A world of fantasy awaits. Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Dragon Air, Silent Gods. It's available on iOS and Android and I'm going to be playing through on my iPhone. Now this is a high fantasy RPG game with different elements to it and one of them is this combat system right now. It is somewhat like chess, as you will see. What we have to do is we're going straight into the fray. We have to place our characters, our heroes that we have on our team somewhere on this board in order to do maximum damage and I think around about here here, as you can see, all of the different lines that come off our character, that is who they can attack. So I'm going to put them there and then click on challenge. Now, as the battle starts, you will see how this is going to play out. It is somewhat of an auto attack, but on the bottom right, this is the bars that fill up. And once they are full, we can unlock and use their special abilities. So clicking right now, we're going to drag this over. And this has an area of effect of nine tiles. So I'm thinking this is going to be the most, yeah, use this fireball right here for the most enemies attacked. Beautiful. And now we've just got this new character and she is a healer. So we'll put you here for Flower Solace. We'll get some extra health. Thank you very much for that. We're going to bring you into the fray as well. Only able to attack one. So let's attack the one with the most damage. Here we go, a little cutscene going through right now. Beautiful, they're down. Some extra explosive damage of an area effect there. And that is a battle victory for us. Beautiful, but what exactly is going on here? Well, we were sacrificed to a blood cult. It sounds very extreme. Oh goodness, we were the thousandth soul because we were trying to unlock and they were trying to get the child of chaos to be revived, but we survived and it's very odd that we survived. And now we're just trying to figure out what the heck is happening. We're going through, there's over 200 heroes to whom we can recruit and we can get on our team. This is the main sort of hub right now. You saw what the action battle sequences were like, that sort of chess-like experience. But this we get to explore, we get to pick up different items, we also go to different towns. But right now, let's talk to Isitarian. We have the quests on the left-hand side of the screen, so let's tap on you. Indeed. And let's have a chat. The the, all these characters, they are voice acted, so that is nice. We can just tap through if we want, but it does give an extra layer of character, an extra layer of immersion to hear their voices, each wonderfully acted as we go through. This is a free-to-play game. You do have the option to spend real-world money as you wish. I'm just going to tap through this. Let's see, yet yeah, where can we find them? It's going to give us another quest marker in order to go through. There is plenty to get from this, of course, but just for the purpose of this video I want to oh I clicked on the wrong place there for the purpose of this video I just want to give you an experience of what it is actually like to play so we need to recruit the other two companions but I am just going to show you as we can see here we can pick up loot so I'm just going to tap on the screen right there to pick up beautiful let's go to equipment and equip this new long sword this is our character right here and we can by clicking on the sword we can equip the long sword do we have anything else in our inventory no, not yet. No worries, that's absolutely fine. But now we have this longsword, an extra 15 to attack, which would be I'm really helpful. Anything in here? Nope, nothing for them. That's absolutely fine. But these are the heroes we've got so far. Our character, of course, Kazaskut, that's me, you know, that's me. No Tira. And then Hexandra. We've only just recruited Hexandra. But let's go through. And whilst we're heading to get the other two. Oh, hello. What does Forbit want? Something's going a bit Pete Tong here, hasn't it? Lend a hand, get this blasted contraption. But before we let you out, my friend, let's just show you what the store is like. This is the menu screen, but clicking on the store, as you can see, there are options to spend real world money. You will get perks, you will get different gems, different coins, all that type of stuff, which you can then use in order to upgrade your character to buy new things and all that type of stuff. So that is an option there. But I've been playing for a little bit. I haven't come across any sort of paywall or any forced barriers for me to have to spend money in order to play. Oh, we're in a battle. Here we go. Let's do another battle right now. They hinder our movements, the things on the ground. The dwarf is in trouble. Try to reposition the dwarf to protect him from being killed. Where's our dwarf? Where is he? Protect him. Yeah, let's bring you to the back. Do you know what? I'm going to bring you right to the back. Yeah, now let's challenge. Here we go. Right, the battle is starting. Let us get on with this. We are into the fray. We got a few right here. That person at the back seems, ooh, look at them. They're summoning more. That's the problem. It's not just who's on screen. There is a summon as well that it can bring more in. Okay, that's gonna have the maximum effect. 
four enemies within there. Oh, goodness. Got two of our characters dead. Okay, assist. Deals damage to Enerfleas within range. Okay, let's do that. Assist, you can bring that in. Thank you. Get rid of you. That got one of them down. Two more are down. But unfortunately, look at that. Almost the entire crew are gone. Oh, my days. Come on. I, I reckon we can get this. There we go. So there's only two left. Only a little bit of health left. But if we can cast this fireball down on these last two, they are gone. Thank you very much. The one who we meant to protecting was protected. The other two, not so much. But we got a lot of coinage. We got a lot of different resources right there. Thank you very much. And now let's just keep on going through. I know we had to collect the one, but let's collect the other one as well. It's a shame to go through all of this and not actually fully read the stuff, but that is for you to do in your own time, because right now I just want to show you what it is like to play, rather than just having to listen to these wonderful voice actors doing their job. So let's keep on going through. Okay, so, oh, look at this dragon over here. Right, let's head on over to that. It is a dragon, isn't it? You heard me say it. And then we need to steal something from the dragon. That's absolutely fine. But yes, this is really nicely animated. The visuals of this are really good. You can't really zoom in far. This is, this is the distance. You can zoom in that far out, but this far in. So there is a limit to how close a detail you can actually get. But even from this distance, it is really beautiful. There's a lot of, if you are a fan of the high fantasy genre, then there's definitely a lot here. And also there is this Dungeons and Dragons sort of element to it. I know other games do this as well, but you have to roll a dice. In certain situations, you have to re you have to rely on just a dice roll, and that dice roll can really affect the outcome of how things play out. Whether it's the attack, whether it's how you deal with the situation, and it's a shame none have popped up so far. Maybe if Look I'm slumbering dra black dragon here, maybe that'll do something. Let's steal. Oh, okay. Let's just steal this from you. Thank you. Oh, okay. See, that was the little bit of the dice roll as you saw right there. Can I steal anything else? Target points five. Yep, we rolled an 11. So that's beautiful and we managed to do it. So as you can see, there are little instances where, oh, we need to get at least this number, but we managed to roll that and now it's fine. And that adds just this extra layer of randomness to it. Because if you were to come through and play again, I'm sure it may come out differently. And that could have a different, different result, which I don't think we want to do if we're trying to get something from a sleeping dragon we want to see how that turns out but yes my friends as i'm going through collecting all of this stuff i'm going to say right now this has been dragon air silent gods let us know down below what do you think will you be having a go at this are you a fan of this high fantasy genre and what do you think of this particular style of gameplay let us know in the comments below but for now my friends look and watch you all and catch you next time oh welcome to the crew nice to have you on board here Take this!